<laughs> man, do I have a story for you. If you're thinking about getting a loan by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans, you need to hear the story first. What's up, everybody? I'm Kevin Huddy. Now, you're going to get this side only from me, so I know there's two sides to every story, but I could verify everything that I'm about to tell you from the listing agent and my client and the sellers of this transaction that I have had a nightmare going through. I'm going to keep names. I'm going to keep as much information out of this because it's not um, I'm not trying to like bag on anybody personally or anything like that. So I just want to put this story out there for people to know like what to expect if they're going to be dealing with Quicken Loans, Rocket Mortgage. If you're going to go and get a loan through them or get pre-approved for them, they have like, you know, a very streamlined process. Just know that going with a local lender is a million times better. And I always recommend it as a real estate agent, as a friend, as your neighbor here in California, in Sacramento, you can find a mortgage broker or just a lender themselves, but there, um, you can find them local because it's a lot easier to deal with, um, getting in touch with if anything happens, all the communications there, you're not getting your um loan case handed off from person to person department to department you're you know you have a person that's working you can call at any time and be able to work with directly and that is huge when it comes to buying a home and you know making offers and being all on the same page all the way through with everybody involved in you know buying a house or selling the home either way you need to be on the same um, communication level everything needs to be just super transparent and you just got to be uh, extremely honest so this is what happened my client he's from out of town from Marin County moving into Sacramento trying to do a fresh start we've made multiple offers uh, on different condos and we uh, were lucky enough to come across this one but the thing is is that he uh, got pre-approved by Rocket Mortgage goes online gets a conventional 30-year fixed rate mortgage however on his pre-approval letter it even states it's a guaranteed fully underwritten um, loan that if it falls through for whatever reason that they will pay him a thousand dollars my client and so that's pretty cool and i was like hey that's that was kind of my selling point to um, make an offer as i was just saying hey he's fully underwritten he's a um, really good guy and that you know and that's what ultimately got us our um, offer accepted I believe it was really cool to be able to have that experience but um, I was just pushing that his loan was pre-approved and fully underwritten and that he will get a thousand dollars if it doesn't go through so we get to the offer accepted awesome we're moving we're doing everything we're we're assigned a lender and he's been you know kind of in touch with us and they have everything online he has i'm sure he can do it through an app too but uh, there's a just a checklist of things that he needs to get my client needs to get done in order for you know things to move along in the process now it's always highly suggested before you even make an offer that you the real estate agent get in touch and have a relationship with these lenders because you need to find out how long of a contingency period you can do because as a buyer you want to offer the shortest contingency date so that way you can you know close escrow as early as possible um, when you do get them on the line or you do talk to them they'll just w give you the world they'll tell you everything you want to hear yeah 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 we're all about transparency we're going to do whatever it need you know whatever you need to be able to make things right and then we get our new our case passed to another lender so then this guy is you know oh i'm all about transparency the listing agent can call me no matter what and i love it you know I'll, I'll tell her whatever you want me to you know um as far as what's going on in the situation well then <laughs> all of a sudden we're looking for him and he's gone awol and it's so crazy because we just talked to him that day the listing agent and me and we've been in communication that whole day. And then at the end of the day, um, I sent an email about 
8 o'clock, you know, kind of explaining, 8 p.m. our time, trying to explain like what my client's going through, what he is going to be losing if this deal falls apart because of them. And <laughs> I get an out of office reply saying he's going to be out of town for like five days straight. And so I just was like, are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do now? I'm trying to get all the information that I'm, you know, getting about this to the listing agent and my client and trying to shield my client from certain things so he doesn't have to stress about all this stuff. But at the same time, you know, he needs to know um, a lot of things. So I'm trying to keep him updated and um, it, it just has falling apart. I mean, a lot of time, effort, money has been put into the situation and to get this far along and for something like this to happen and for a client like mine that extremely deserves it in every way um, it's just heartbreaking so uh, i just want people to be aware and know that if you're thinking about using quicken or rocket loans just just do your homework i mean i was warned by other agents and other colleagues to not use them but i can only tell people my clients so much you know they have that ultimate de decision and it's always their decision at the end of the day i'm here just to buy so you know it is what it is we we, we ended up with them i thought we were gonna make it through but we will find out so uh i'll keep you updated um, i just want people to know some things are just out of your hands and if you can control something like this especially there's so many talented lenders in this area and that you can easily find a lot of them that are right near you if you're thinking about moving to sacramento then don't use rocket or quick and mortgage and find a local lender that's all i'm saying until next time, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Make sure you comment below if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe for new content. Until next time, guys. Thank you.